Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your mid-October to beginning of November read of this current year. All right, look at it, right? Boom. I got an oracle deck. It's called the Dark Mirror. Right? It is really cool, and I like the cards. Actually, when I was starting to shuffle these for years before I started the camera, because I always like to shuffle a card to be like, this is the zodiac I'm reading for, or I'll just say your name or whatever, right? A particular card came out, and it was the Is This Me card, which is the vibration I got for Aries that just happened to pop out. So if you want to know what the meaning of that card is, um, go watch Aries's mid-monthly read because I read it there. But we're gonna see what's gonna pop up for you. It might be that card, I don't know, but we're about to see. So what is popping up? Also Cancer, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, so check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it, right? Right. Cross watchers, switcher you need to, of course. Also, if you want a personal read, all the information is in the description box below, directly after the music channel listings, right? Newcomers, first reading is on the house. Everything else comes with a price, of course, and I do accept tips and donations. Thank you very kind in advance. So now, let's just boop your nose and away we go. So, right, what's the card we got for you? Blinded to pain. Mmm. That's a weird necklace, but whatever. Let's see, number 13. Ooh, lucky number. A lot of people think 13 is such a bad number, and I'll never understand why. All right. Blinded to pain, Cancer. That is your vibration, okay? This is your oracle card, right? It is the moon phase of a waning crescent, and the stage is denial. Kind of like the five stages of grief or loss, right? <laughs> or death. I can shoulder it and it's not a big deal, isn't it? The visual seed is flies, pinned, not pinned, but ordered as bees, fading on the neatly arranged blood. A woman's chest carved by a blade in a diamond pattern, full lips the color of blood, a blindfold on whom the last fly lingers. This, her sentence is, carving oneself for every stroke of whip and feeling so broken that it makes no difference to be whole. Going dark, T.S. Eliot said, a fly that lives a single day has lived as long as we, yet we accept the passage of time like it didn't matter, like we don't matter. Every single, every day a single line is added. Jesus, if I could read today, thank you. Every day a single line is added to the pattern. A single fly is added to the wall. We take one more responsibility. We take a little more abuse. We shoulder a little more pain. We smile in front of a little more insolence. We close our eyes to our wounds. We think we can endure it. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. We say to ourselves, like men, because it's mainly to endure and be strong. Like women, because it's feminine to endure and be strong. Like humans, because we care and gentleness we feel is precious to others, and we don't dare to actually claim for ourselves. After all, we can do it, but it actually hurts. It's painful. Tears are better than feeding flies with our own blood. We can scream and say no, or endure nevertheless. But remembering that we are just humans, neither heroes, nor saints. That's your da 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 vibrational card. That's yours, Cancer. Blinded to pain. So you might be like ignoring some stuff that's actually bothering you a little bit. You know. Which I kind of understand that sentiment, but at the same time, you can only do so much, you know? So let's see. What's the rest of your cards, Cancer? We got the three of wands right here waiting contemplating if she should keep waiting keep feeding into it because we got the justice card down here below right your thoughts and feelings of course there might have been some abuses or something from the past that you're trying to move on from and the root of this is not getting a message delivered to take any action hmm all right what's coming up for you next King of Swords, someone either coming, 
spilling or exacting some truth on some bitches. Right? Then we have the Nine of Pentacles Reverse. That might be an obstacle for you, actually. Being honest about how you're feeling and being blinded to this pain. Like, you know. When you're blind to things, it's hard to see. Uh, and then we got the Devil Reverse at the very end. Capricorn's card. Also, Libra here as well as up here with Gemini and Aquarius. Hmm. Some devil might be sneaking away without a single fucking word. But that might be justice. They might be getting away from justice. And you've been sitting here waiting and wishing and hoping and praying. And uh, da da. And da da. But whatever. Alright. So let's see. Cancer. What goes on with this Three of Wands? Not taking action caused a problem. It caused an. Uh, it, it might have been a backfire. Something that like you're not doing or not really picking up is like um, Cancer and Crosswatcher, the catalyst to how things might have started, right? Nah. Yeah. You might have gone up trying to talk some stuff to your elders, get advice, get assistance. Might have been with an earth sign for sure. Could be a Capricorn you were dealing with. Someone who was pretty in the dark about their successes. But they are a successful person. They just don't say too much, right? Um, may it came to some indecisions that they could not decide upon. Um, because there was some injustice going on. So, whatever was originally happening up here, there was injustice with. But now there's justice below, Cancer. So, some inaction caused some terrible consequences. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, you kind of want to take a leap of faith, Cancer and Cross Watchers, and sacrifice in order to have the two cups. You'll give up that third cup that's not doing you anything, a bit of good, in order to, um,. Establish some shit, right? With the three cups right here. Like, it's like you're waiting to know what to do. Like, should you let it go? Or should you keep enduring, you know? Like, you're blinding yourself to pain in order to keep enduring as is. And this justice card, right? Let's see. Yeah, justice was originally thrown out the window. And someone had people turned against them. But that person apparently, I think that they left and then the person who got them. No. Hmm. Like, someone doesn't want to wait for something fruitful. Even though there's a possibility of you waiting, Cancer. Um, someone might also have their intuition in the background, not trying to pay attention to it. And that's why their fortune's stuck at this point as well. Um... I feel like... There was a justice moment, but somebody threw justice out the window. Made people go after somebody. But now they're sitting here expecting somebody to come back a little bit, Cancer. Just a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I need a nap. Okay. So, up here with this three of wands, right? Like, yeah, um, you're pretty sure that, like, you don't want to, um, take a leap of faith because you look at it like a disaster. You look at it like, oh, I would have to be stupid to do this kind of shit, you know? But you might be drunk already because it seems like someone took off with a bunch of their shit. Uh... Like, y'all might have been in the wrong scenario. Or maybe, like, 
you feel like you have to like drink to handle this stuff because maybe you're afraid you'd be homeless or something like you'd be the new kid on the block you used to have a lot of stuff you got a lot of weight on you but now it's like hmm It's like you don't want to take a leap of faith because you're afraid you're going to get caught for drinking the most expensive wine. Or you're going to get caught messing with something you didn't mean to mess with. And people going to throw your ass out on the streets and shit. Hell, you might, you or your crosswatcher could possibly be looking at other people who are in similar similar situations with you. You might be trying to ask them for a hand and they're just like, I got my own shit to worry about, bro. You know, they might, people might actually be ignoring you while you're in pain, while you're suffering, while you're sitting here, slowly freezing to death. Um, hmm. Let's see, down here below with the justice card, right? Uh, I feel like someone wants to drop on some swords down on somebody so their heart bleeds again, you know, and then act like they had no idea what the fuck was going on. Like, oh no, it was me, it was Todd. You know. <laughs> like someone wants to cut open that heart after it's been healed up. In order to catch the surprise of someone who doesn't even know that people are fighting over them. That's got a crazy cancer. Anyway. Thoughts and feelings. There's some abuse, possibly. You're trying to recover from the past. Childhood, even, right? You know, that blinded the pain kind of thing, right? Let's see. You might be taking passionate action to get that done, Cancer Crosswatcher. Uh, but there is also a very bitter Empress. Aries, Taurus, Libra, Venetian energy, right? Who is um probably nagging for this um I don't even think she's nagging I think she just feels begrudgingly like she's got to get something done like she doesn't even want to do it you know uh, but she's got this dude here who's kind of a control freak so she's got to do whatever he says because he's the one with the balls he's the man I guess you know neither of you two are kind of happy with this actually Did you possibly take some action because you felt a little bit upset about stuff that your emperor did? These are both counterparts cancer, so it's like... Mm. But it could also be like someone ran away from both of these people because they're both just in their fucking feels all the time, you know? So, we got the Eight of Wands reverse. Someone was looking for a message that I feel like didn't come or isn't coming. You know, and they're trying to move into calmer waters, but unfortunately, like, everything is pretty cramped. And that's kind of how the cycle is going to be completed at that. Like, being stuck somewhere or some shit while they're trying to get away. And possibly with a workplace scenario or trying to work something out with another person. Let's see... Oh, wait, this is the wrong deck. My bad. <laughs> okay. Let's clarify these two over yonder. Alright. Thoughts and feelings of the Six of Cups reverse. What's up with it? There might be a happy ending with this. Like, everyone looks like they're cool. The kid's not getting dragged into the fire. Everyone's got smiles on their faces. You know? But that's not how things ended. Like nothing, like everything looked happy, but it wasn't actually set up that way. That the, the uh, world's down here with someone like uh, trying to move the calmer waters, but it's hard to when you're in a fucking cave, you know. One more, and uh, but you know, well, yeah, they thought this would be. Everyone was already at the ten of cups. But some stuff wasn't set up right. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Sorry. And, uh, and, but nobody's noticed yet because, like, they're all still partying, being drunk and shit. Which is 
kind of the problem over here with this dude because like now he's just like why isn't anyone else like you drank your job away dude that's why you drank your job and you went in the river and got like mud water and then like used some food coloring to be like it's a very expensive wine from peru when everyone knows that chardonnay is nowhere near sweet you know or am i th no i'm thinking of uh no, it's a different kind of wine I'm thinking of, but I can't remember what it is, but I don't know why I thought that one. Chardonnay. Chardonnay is dry. I don't know. It could be, or I'm wrong, one of the two. Anyway. The root of the thoughts and feelings. Someone might have fucked up with their feelings. Might have just dropped that shit. I don't think, I don't think somebody knew how to handle their emotions very well in this cancer. And now they can't let go of the bird. It's like... Or they want to let go of the bird? Like, the dude tripped with the fish to begin with and dropped it. This... The temperance card over here is the exact opposite. It's like they don't want to let the bird go. They're just like, no, 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 I'll just use this other cup to hold you in place. Where, in reality, they kind of, like, just drop the fish. You know? All based on what they can get and want too. Interesting. Okay, that's the wrong deck. Shit. Alright. King of Swords. Cancer. Cancer, I feel like there's somebody missing you. Or you're possibly missing them. And it bothers you. But you're really good at ignoring shit, too. So, it's like, uh... Alright. King of Swords. What's all about him for, right? Right. Um, could have been a dream. Could have been a wish. Could have been a fantasy. Maybe, you know. Um... But it was one that had a lot of danger and disaster with the, with the King of Swords once again. It's like he was looking at it like, ah, you know, I'm too old and wise to be going into this kind of bullshit. This is not my place. This is not where I belong. But now it's like he's aware that he kind of wants to travel. Like he was looking at it before like it was a dangerous spot to go to or something. But he knows that this Ten of Cups thing is in the distance, far away. And now it's like, you know what? I'm going to be a fool and I'm going to get on this boat. I'm a go. Damn it. I'm a go. This is like so romantic. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> All right. Nine of Pentacles reverse. What's up with that? I feel like it, even though someone feels like they aren't themselves or they don't feel like they're at their best... Uh, maybe not even living their best life, but they're trying their damnedest, you know. Um, they're coming to this understanding about a little bit of fairness, I feel like, Cancer and Crosswatcher. You know, um, despite the fact that they haven't really been resting very well because of this, you know. Like, maybe something's bothered them to the point, you know. Being blinded by this pain is just like, or blinded to the pain, you know. Yeah, like, this bitch took off, and these two just kept sitting there. Now they're just out there comfortable. They're just like, you know what, it's not that bad, much like this card said. It's not this bad. It's not so bad. And then this devil right here, right? The devil. Reverse. Could be Capricorn. Uh, might have ran in for an argument, or might have became combative, but he's, but he's going away. Is someone chasing after the devil, I wonder? You know. Chasing after their happiness. Fighting for their happiness. Um. You just gotta wait till these people aren't looking in order to do that, though. Um, in order for the devil to actually come to the light. There he is right there once again. Um, leaving the bad and toxic or whatever it is you want to call it. To go on to the light, right? Hmm. Okay. There he is again. Someone's avoiding temptation. He's just showing up all over the damn place. 
That flea could be a Capricorn involved if he needs to be Cancer. Okay. Now, someone's not falling for the temptations of it all. So, up to the top. Yeah, someone didn't was wasn't a victor and did not share a victory with somebody. In fact, they were walking right into something completely different after some sneaky stuff happened. Uh, hmm. This could also be somebody who might have been an enemy that you weren't aware of that you were trying to share your spoils with. Who got caught up in their own bullshit, right? Mm. Next row. Ooh, there might be secrets you're gonna have to come for, cancers and cross watchers. Things you're gonna have to figure out. Actually, face the stuff that's um, bringing you pain instead of being blinded to it. Because um, it's kind of that time you're at a crossroads. There might even be somebody helping you while you move to get away from this position on the tree which mind you in the in the traditional rider weight you can't see the ground i thought he was literally up high in a tree so now i'm like slightly disappointed with my imagination you know yeah but at this crossroads you might figure out that this stuff isn't going to come to an end like someone might be wishing that this shit would just die or something already and it's like nope hundred more years to go. You know, it's something that's possibly driving you crazy or whatever. Okay, baby. Okay. Love you. Love you more. Love you more. Be safe, okay? Right. Okay, so let's see. Last row, y'all. Sorry, my husband. He's my love. So we must protect him. Alright. Ah, uh, all this right here is a lot of injustice. Hmm. The hangman's up here, too. Like... I don't know, like, you're being nourished at this crossroad, but it's like, it also leads to this idea that like something has an ending, changing, transforming, shit like that, right? Down below, someone's trying to fight and rush to their happiness, but they got people kind of holding them off so that you're trying to get ideas from. But there is some injustice here. Something went wrong, Cancer. Yeah, someone try someone was trying to ruin either your or your person's happiness. Cancers and cross watchers. It's like you're finally coming to an understanding, or the person you might have dealt with is coming to an understanding about you. That um possibly one of the two of you were trying to ruin each the other's day. Which is a very, very mean thing to do, and you shouldn't go around ruining people's days just because you want to. But that's what it kind of feels like here cancers and cross watchers but that's the reading i got for you i hope you enjoyed it too if not that's cool um but you can like share subscribe if you want to i'd appreciate it but no pressure of course you guys try to take it easy i love your faces bye, -bye.